Technologies for space are designed to be tough. They're designed to be safe and long lasting. Of course, you'd want a battery to be incredibly safe, long lasting and tough if you were to send it into the outer reaches of the Earth's atmosphere. So what happens when you bring the battery chemistry deployed at the International Space Station down to Earth? Well, that's exactly what's happening. NASA's battery technology is being used now on planet Earth by ordinary companies for energy storage. And apparently it's completely changing battery storage in a number of countries around the world already. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Nickel hydrogen batteries are a technology that really, to be honest, very few people have heard about. They are apparently the most durable battery ever invented, according to battery scientists. Nickel hydrogen batteries can last for 30,000 charging cycles. In other words, for many decades, they are fireproof and they outperform lithium ion batteries in a number of key metrics for energy storage at large scale. Now here in Australia, NASA's nickel hydrogen battery is being deployed by AGL at the Torrens Island hub. The truth is that nickel hydrogen batteries have long been used in the aerospace industry and by NASA, but expensive platinum catalysts have priced the technology out of use in batteries for grid scale storage solutions. California battery startup in a venue says it has developed an inexpensive nickel molybdenum catalyst with cobalt. This makes the battery technology potentially very viable for standalone storage options, providing 30,000 charge cycles and more than 30 years when it comes to its lifespan. Now, here's the thing. These battery packs, in fact, last a lot longer because the company says that they are fireproof, they outperform lithium batteries across a range of metrics, and after 30,000 full charge cycles, they still have 86% capacity. So you could potentially even get 60,000 charge cycles out of the meaning these batteries could last potentially for over 60 years. The CEO of Enervenue, which is a nickel hydrogen battery manufacturer based in Fremont, California, said this, our cost is comparable to where lithium ion is going. And we use earth abundant materials. Nickel is the most expensive thing we use. We operate at a 90% round trip efficiency, more efficient than lithium ion. And there's basically no maintenance on this battery. It was designed by NASA for sending up on a rocket ship into outer space. This fall, the company will finish construction of a 92,900 square meter gigafactory in Kentucky that will start by making up to five gigawatt hours worth of batteries annually. They project that the facility will reach its full capacity when it's churning out 20 gigawatt hours of cells per year. Nickel hydrogen batteries look and work unlike any other battery. They consist of a stack of electrodes inside a pressurized gas tank. The cathode is nickel hydroxide and the anode is hydrogen. When the battery is charging, a catalytic reaction generates hydrogen gas. During discharge, the hydrogen oxidizes and converts back to water. The chemistry was designed in the 1970s and chosen for the space program because there were really no other alternatives then, Heinemann says. Lithium iron was in its infancy and it lasted for about 200 cycles, while lead acid batteries lasted for around 500. You can see how there's a huge difference between those numbers and the 30 to 60,000 charges that these nickel hydrogen batteries get. Their use of expensive platinum catalysts kept them relegated to space applications though until recently, five years ago. That was when everything changed. Stanford materials science and engineering professor and battery entrepreneur Yi Q's team found an inexpensive nickel cobalt alloy catalyst for the battery that costs only US $20 per kilogram. That was the complete game changer. That's when everything became commercially viable. Q helped launch in a venue in 2020, and it's now the startup's chairman and chief technology officer. 
The company's newest generation batteries revealed in early September are tanks measuring 1.8 meters long, that's around six feet, and 15 centimeters wide, six inches wide, with an energy capacity of three kilowatt hours. Now, some people are a little bit worried about these types of batteries. They need a pressurized vessel, and this raises some questions, a bit of concern, but the reactions are very stable. And as hydrogen gas builds up inside the tank, it reaches a peak pressure that is about 5% of what a hydrogen fuel cell would typically reach. The nature of the chemistry is such that if the pressure continues to rise past the maximum, it forces the combination of hydrogen back into water. So there is no mechanism for thermal runaway, as there is in a lithium ion battery, where byproducts of the reaction can sometimes cause uncontrolled buildup of heat that of course, results in catastrophic fires. I call it the barbecue test, says Heinemann. We take the battery, put it in an open fire, and watch it continue to heat up. What ends up happening is that the pressure above top charge will force the hydrogen back into the water, and then we have a release valve designed into the unit. So at a pre-designed pressure and temperature, that will release, and you'll get a steam vent. Another advantage of these space design batteries is that the battery chemistry works across a very, very wide temperature range from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. That means any given battery storage bank requires no costly heating, no air conditioning is needed, ventilation and fire suppression systems, all of which require their own maintenance and upkeep. In addition, to using a lot of energy and costing more money. Many novel battery technologies are vying for the grid storage market. And nickel hydrogen batteries are at least tried and tested in small scale aerospace applications. But they haven't been made and tested on a large scale yet. And the new metal alloy catalyst has yet to prove itself in the real world. Like many early stage technologies, Enervenu's nickel hydrogen batteries currently cost more than lithium ion batteries, says Aaron Marks, an energy storage analyst at Wood Mackenzie. They also have lower energy density, meaning more space and more batteries are needed for the same power rating. But he says this the less intensive manufacturing process is going to provide a key advantage for American companies like Enervenu to ramp up manufacturing. The battery's relative safety and incredibly long life will make them extremely competitive and could, in fact, be game-changing. Once the technology reaches scale, it will help make the entire technology landscape better and cheaper just by virtue of providing serious competition, Mark says. So far, Enervenu has been operating a pilot production line that can manufacture 100 megawatt hours worth of batteries per year. They deployed small test systems. However, the company already has over seven gigawatt hours or about 400 plus million US dollars worth of purchase orders, including from solar energy developer Pine Gate Renewables, Schlumberger, New Energy, and well, all the way over here in Australia from AGL. Our mission, he says, is to become the number one provider of stationary storage serving power plants, businesses, and homes globally. When these batteries, when the production numbers are ramped up to numbers of possibly 10, 20, 30 gigawatt hours per year, the costs will fall. Meaning, costs could eventually be similar to lithium iron phosphate batteries. If that were to happen, these batteries would take enormous amount of market share because like I said, they last a lot longer than lithium ion and they're much, much safer. They don't require the infrastructure that lithium batteries do and they do not actually ignite. You're not gonna get the fires that we're seeing recently in numerous locations around the world for different lithium ion batteries. This NASA battery technology, which was originally invented by NASA and today is basically an iteration of those original NASA batteries, absolutely could change the game when it comes to energy storage all around the world. Guys, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.